Does Ezoic slow your website down? What effect does Ezoic have on your Google PageSpeed score? There are a couple of questions that I get asked all the time. People just basically wondering if you put ads on your site, what compromise do you have to make in terms of speed and performance? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you what happened when I put Ezoic onto one of my brand new websites, bestcornpopper.com. It's a website that runs the fantastic popcorn theme. Even if I do say so myself, it's a theme that I developed with Phil and Carl. You know, I've been banging on about it, but yeah. Bestcornpopper.com is a brand new site. It's running the popcorn theme. It was scoring some super, super duper scores before I added Ezoic to it. So what did Ezoic do? Did they kill my page speed scores? Let's find out. Hello, it's Alex here. Hope you're all well. So yeah, Best Corn Popper. Have you seen it? It's a brand new site that I set up. In fact, I created a full length tutorial on exactly how I put the site together. Uh, yeah, that one. Go check it out if you haven't done so already. The site has been running super duper fast. It has got WP Rocket installed. And with that plugin, it's been scoring 100 out of 100 on Google PageSpeed score on both the mobile and the desktop. But anyway, I'm a big fan of Ezoic. I think it's a great way to increase the income from your websites. But in the past, I have found that they can slow your site down a little bit. However, they've got a brand new product now. It's called Leap. And well, it promises to give you some fantastic performance even when you're running ads. So I signed up for Ezoic. Well, I didn't actually sign up because I already have an account. I've got a few other websites with them. Um, and by the way, if you're not signed up with Ezoic, uh, there's a link up there, also a link in the description. It's an affiliate link. Thanks very much if you use it. But yeah, follow that and you can sign up and start adding Ezoic ads to your website. Anyway, I added the site to my existing Ezoic account. And it's pretty easy to switch over. All you've got to do is update your DNS servers, which you can do at your domain registrar, pop in the uh, Ezoic ones, and yeah, that's it. It's pretty much all done. My helpful account manager over Ezoic set up some ad placements. I said, I don't want too many ads. They can get a little bit carried away if you let them put ads everywhere. So yeah, I said, just a few ads, not too many. Keep it subtle, but also effective. And that's exactly what they did. If you look at the content, doesn't look too bad. They've injected a few ads here and there. There's one across the bottom and that's about it. Now, in order to run Ezoic, you have to disable caching plugins like WP Rocket. So yeah, got rid of that. And well, then I started running some page speed scores. This is before I'd enabled Ezoic Leap. And well, it wasn't too bad. We were coming in in the 70s on mobile, which is a bit of a drop obviously from 100 and it's down into the orange kind of section. But, you know, it could have been worse. But now it was time to try out Ezoic Leap. So I asked uh, my account manager if they could enable it. They said, fine, we'll set that up for you. And they did. And then I ran the site back through Google PageSpeed Score. And this is what happened. As you can see, we're back up in the 90s, even running ads, which is fantastic. I've never seen results like this before on sites that are running ads. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Alex, you haven't got any ads on your homepage. What a stupid test. Why don't you test some internal pages, some content that's actually got ads on it. Let's see your page speed scores then. So, yeah, okay, here you go. And again, we're still well in the 90s, even on pages that have got ads on them. So there we go. You can have a fast website even when you're running ads. So that brings us to the end of this video. Love to know your experience with Ezoic and PageSpeed scores. Do leave me a comment below. I do read all the comments that I get. And uh, if you like this video, if you found it useful, then please click that like button below. That really does help me out. And to avoid missing any future videos, click that subscribe button. But until next time, bye for now.